Well, hey everyone, it's Andrew Bro. Welcome back to part four in this video uh, series on creating a trifold brochure in Microsoft Publisher. We're actually going to be wrapping up uh, this video series tonight. I know I could I could probably make a couple of videos uh, out of the you know kind of wrapping this up, but I decided to do it in one. And the reason is is I found that um, for the most part I get a lot more interaction on. Um, the video is where I either show a specific how to set up a document or where I'm showing how to use a specific tool. So instead of doing tutorials where I, where, where I actually like walk through and design an entire document, um, I think from here on out I'm going to focus more on shorter tutorials, probably some of them. Some of them may be close to you know 20, 30 minutes, but um, more or less how to stick with how to set up a specific type of document and also some short videos on how to use specific tools inside of Microsoft Publisher to get the look that you're going for because so many people are working on different projects maybe you're working on a brochure maybe you're working on you know business cards or something like that and so I think what I'm gonna do is, is just wrap up this series and this is what we've been working on Right here, we've been recreating this uh, kind of the outside, I guess you could say, of the brochure. Um, you know, obviously this is the front cover, back cover over here, and then that inside flap that you see when you first open it up. So in parts one, two, and three, we basically went over how to do all of this. And in this video, what we're going to do is, is something a little bit different. I'm kind of using... Uh, this is inspiration and gonna kind of show you how we can work with some angles to get something that looks similar to what's going on with this brochure which I thought was kind of kind of cool uh, so we're gonna go ahead and wrap up with this we're probably not gonna completely make everything that you see here but we're gonna get uh, we're gonna try and get close if we can all right, so let's go ahead and jump right in to our document so here was parts one, two, and three. We went through and, and created all of this. And here in part four, um, we're gonna go ahead and finish this whole thing up. So we're gonna start out by just creating a shape. And uh, it's gonna be a rectangle, so we're gonna create this like kind of giant rectangle shape. This will make sense here in just a moment. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is, is I, I actually want to use the fill, the orange fill color um, that we used over here. I want to kind of use that as, as the color. And then we're going to go ahead and turn off the uh, outline on this, this shape. Let's go ahead and say no outline. Now what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to hold down the shift key and see if I can get this thing to turn into position where I want it. And that actually looks pretty decent. I'm not sure that it's perfect. I think I actually want to just tilt it a little bit more. So maybe something like so. And um I'm kind of watching this panel right here down at the down at the the end and I'm going to bring this up. We'll bring it back down. Right there. And I think I'm going to drop the top one down just a little bit so we can squeeze a photo um, into the background. Um, so now that that is all done and this is going to be a little bit different than you know, uh, we're not going to do exactly what they did here. I'm going to be showing you something a little bit different. And actually, now that I look at it, it looks like we can we can do something a little bit kind of more like that. Um, so the first thing that I want to do here is I want to go ahead and put a picture in down here. So I'm going to go over to insert and I'm going to do a picture placeholder and we're going to go ahead and drop it right here and I think actually what I want to do is um, I'm gonna make the picture come all the way up to about here 
and I want another one up in this area but this one is actually going to be behind the color that we're making here so let's go ahead and move that back um, send backwards all right so now it's behind so I think that looks kind of like what I want to go for um, I'm gonna end up having to create some white boxes over here once again this will make sense here in a minute fill it with white get rid of the outline I'm holding down the shift key to lock it in place because remember we have to have a quarter inch of white space um, all the way around the edge of the brochure when we're all done and so if we go into whoops if we go into the print preview for this page this is kind of how it's gonna look in this corner and then this corner once again we'll we'll make some white space um, up in here so let's go ahead and scroll up and do that once again just using the rectangle tool dragging it out fill it with white say no outline doesn't need to be real big um, whoops uh, let's undo that I wanted to copy it hold down the shift key flip it vertical there we go the stuff that's out here in the gray is automatically going to be cut off so if once again if we go back into the print preview you see we have this nice little kind of almost arrow looking line up here all right, let's go ahead and drop some pictures in. I've already gone out to uh, pexels.com and downloaded a couple of images that I liked. So let's go into my folder here. And I think, um, I think I wanna put this one here. That looks pretty good. We'll just leave it at that. And then this one, um, if you can't tell, I, I really like Canon cameras. And so I found a couple of really nice pictures over of, of Canon cameras. All right. So now we're kind of starting to get the, the kind of look and feel that we had um, over here. Now what I'm going to do is show you, we're just going to cover over top of this um, to get this angle over here. So what I would do is go ahead and create another rectangle. I guess we could kind of make it like this. And we're gonna fill it with white. Get rid of the outline and it's just gonna kind of drop into place down here. Now it's not at the right angle right now so we're gonna have to play with the angle and there may actually be a better way to get the exact angle but if there is I don't exactly know what it is not yet anyway all right so it looks crazy but if we go over to the print preview once again you're gonna see we're kind of getting that that look that we were going for I'm not sure I like the little bit of white space that's right up in here, so I could probably um, I could probably do one of two things. One, I could drop this this photo down so that it's down here, but I don't know if I like that. Um, if I move this out until it hits the end of the photo, I feel like it hides kind of too much of the photograph but that's another option I could do it that way of course I would then have to move this out all right let's go ahead and jump over to the print preview once again you know we're, we're kind of getting the look you kind of get the idea we're getting the look that I was 
was trying to create. So we're gonna move on to the text boxes and I just wanna show you how we're gonna create text lines um, or lines of text that actually um, follow this angle right here. Okay, so I had to work ahead a little ways um, just because I was having some difficulty remembering how to um, kind of get an angle going on this text right here. <laughs> it's been a while since I've done that, but I've got it figured out. So I'm gonna show you what I did in order to get that to work. We actually had to work with a couple of um, invisible text or, or invisible shapes. And I'll show you how I created that. So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this text, hold down Control and Shift at the same time, and we're gonna drop it over into this panel. And um, I'll just go ahead and move it up really quickly. We'll justify that over there. And I'll show you how I do it just across the bottom here. So what I actually needed to do was um, go in and create a shape and I'm gonna stick that shape over top of the text box. Now when you do that, it kind of creates this auto wrap. Um, we can see here where the text wrap is turned on for this shape. Um, so it's causing the text to wrap down. So what you wanna do is go into the shape fill. I turned it to white. Um, you don't really have to make it anything um, for that matter. In fact, I may even be able to say, um, no fill as well so it just kind of leaves the shape there so no fill no outline and then you're going to go up to the edit shape and edit the wrap points and then see how it kind of gives you this little point that you can move around now you can move this one down and actually we're going to leave it on the orange and you can move this corner over so it's on the orange I don't know where you want it to land when you do that, it automatically pushes the text and forces it um, into that shape. And you can change like how much space and stuff there is there as well. Um, so anyways, I hope that that kind of helps some of you who are, are working on a design. I'm not gonna finish this up any more than that. I just wanted to show you a couple of, of those tricks. Um, right there, like I said, I'm gonna kind of cut this tutorial series short because I want to focus on um, setting up specific types of documents and then things like this. Um, how to go in and actually edit your text so it does what you want it to do. So I'll be creating some standalone tutorials that'll show just how to work with text boxes and wrapping and things like that, as well as specific how to set up different types of documents. Once again, let's take a quick look at the print preview of this. You can kind of see what the print preview would look like for what we've been working on. Once again, I, I hope that helps uh, those of you out there that are working on trifold brochures um, in the future, check back for specific tutorials on how to set up specific types of documents and tutorials on how to use the different tools inside of Microsoft Publisher. So I know we cut this tutorial series um, short a little bit. Um, I apologize to those of you who asked if I would put together a how-to uh, and we didn't really finish it up. But if you wanna see some great tutorials on document setup inside of Microsoft Publisher, as well as a lot of other great things coming up, we'll have another video coming out here in a couple of weeks to tell you about that. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and uh, post your comments down below uh, any of your, uh, your comments, questions that I can answer in future videos, drop down below and post those in the comments section. You can find me over on these other social media channels. Guys, thanks for following along, and I look forward to uh, getting back to you with some other great tutorials on document setup as well as how to use specific tools inside of Microsoft Publisher. Until next time, see you later. Bye-bye.